today we are going to discuss power amplifier here you can see two transmitter first circuit or first block diagram is am transmitter and second is fm transmitter in both the transmitter the last block is power amplifier so from this we can conclude that in almost all the electronic systems this last stage has to be a power amplifier now question arises what is power amplifier so power amplifier is simply a circuit which converts dc power into ac power and that entire process of conversion is controlled by input signal so we give a input over here that input controls the conversion of dc power over here into ac power at the output let's see the need of power amplifier this is public addressing system you might be aware of this public addressing system this public addressing system consists of microphone followed by stages of voltage amplifier and then power amplifier and the last is loudspeaker now voltage amplifier amplify the voltage but power remains in milliwatt after you amplify the signal using voltage amplifier power remains in milliwatt so to convert this milliwatt into watt or even in kilowatt we need power amplifier so this is a basic uh, job of power amplifier in it increases it raises the level of power okay uh, next classification of power amplifier based on operation of power amplifier we have various classes of power amplifier now this is an amplifier which is designed using power transistor now based on conduction angle of this power transistor we have various classes first class is class a power amplifier in class a single power transistor conducts for entire 360 degree of input so to have such conduction the q point is at the center of active region just remember two point first single transistor conducts for 360 degree and to achieve this conduction q point is biased at center of active region this is the definition of class a power amplifier this is the circuit next is class b in class b single power transistor will conduct only for 180 degree so to achieve 360 degree conduction you need two transistors i repeat one power transistor will conduct only for 180 degree of input so to achieve 360 degree conduction you need two power transistor and for such conduction q point is placed at cut off region position of q point is at cut off region so this is class b now here is the trick uh, in between a and b you have a class ab right so class a is 360 class b is 180 degree conduction so any any transistor if it conducts between uh, 180 to 360 then it becomes class ab and for such conduction q point is q point is selected above just above cutoff okay just above cutoff and conduction angle is more than 360 degree but less than 
360 more than 180 less than 360 the basic idea behind class a b was to overcome the crossover distortion which we'll discuss in coming videos class c class c power amplifier is one where power transistor conducts for less than 180 okay so remember conduction angle is less than 180 degree and for such conduction q point q point is placed below the cutoff region b below the cutoff region so here you see this only is the conduction angle less than 180 degree and q point is placed below the cutoff region to summarize this classes just focus on this for class a it's a 360 degree conduction class b 180 class a b is between 180 to 360 you can say 180 to 200 and for class c it is 100 to 150 for each class just remember where is the q point so for class a is a center of active region okay center of active region class b we place the q point or we bias the q point at cutoff for this we bi uh, bias the q point or we select the q point just above the cutoff and for this it is below the cutoff region okay below the cutoff region okay apart from these four classes we have class d where power transistor conducts only for a pulses like this which will have a high deficient efficiency but conduction angle will be very less and there can be uh, class s d and all those things which are used in regulators thank you